Hello viewers, in this tutorial, we're going to take a step-by-step -step approach on how to design this flyer for a church event. Without much ado, let's get started. Let's create a new file with a width of 1080 pixels and a height of 1350 pixels and at a resolution of 300. So let's create a new solid color with black. Let's introduce our photo. Let's add another picture. Let's place it below. Let's fade this side of the of the picture. Let's by adding a max to it. Set your foreground to black and your background to white. Let's initiate the brush to by pressing B on the keyboard. Now we can fade this part. Let's introduce another photo. This time we place it at the top right corner. Let's flip it horizontally. Let's increase the size by using the transform. Let's fade a bit of the picture by adding a max to it and initiate the brush too. Let's reduce the size of the brush. Let's place another photo. Let's flip it horizontally. Let's see. Let's fade a portion of the photo by adding a max to it and initiating the brush too. Let's fade this side. Let's add a pattern for this time we'll be using the default patterns that uh, Photoshop provides. I'm using Photoshop CC. Let's add a pattern fill. I'm using this one with the dots. Okay, let's change the, blow, the blend mode to multiply. Let's fade a portion of the pattern with a brush tool. Let's increase the size of the brush. Let's introduce another photo. Let's place that at the, far, the, the, the left side of the canvas. Let's change the mode to a black and white fill. Oh, let's change the picture to a black and white. Now we want it to affect only the photo, so we press the clip mark section so that it affects the, only the photo and not everything on the canvas. Now we can fade the bottom part of the photo. Let's select the photo, add a max, initiate the brush tool, then fade from below. Okay. Let's add another solid color, a solid black color. Let's create a new, a new layer. Let's add a solid black color. Let's select the max part of the solid. Let's initiate the brush tool. Let's increase the size of the brush. Let's fade it from the center. Cool. Now let's select uh, the solid layer and rasterize it. Now let's first accept, let's apply the layer marks. Cool. Now let's introduce another gradient fill. Let's introduce another gradient fill. This time let's change the color to a bit of a brownish by using this color code F6 C25 D Let's select this part 
and uh, let's give it an opacity of zero. Let's give it an opacity of zero. Let's accept it. Let's change the style of the gradient for to reflect it uh, with an angle with a twisted angle of uh, let's see. Let's try all of them. Let's see. Let's tilt it further. Let's tilt it again. This time we want it to, to, to reflect it from these sides. Uh, let's keep let's keep working at it. Okay. I think I'll use negative 159 because I want it to be reflected from the left side. So negative 159, let's see. Fine. Let's accept it. Now let's change the opacity. Let's reduce the, a bit of the opacity so that we can see. Okay, a seventy, a seventy-six is fair. Let's add another dust uh, particle, a dust particle photo to to it to the mix. With control. Let's press Control G to Control J to duplicate it. Let's drag it a bit down so that the merge at this side. Now let's merge both Im the both both images by pressing Control E. Now let's transform it so set that it fills the entire canvas. Okay, let's change the blend mode of it to. Let's add another gradient map. Let's add a gradient map this time. Gradient map. Where are you? Okay, we found it. Now let's change the colors. Uh, let's change this color to 5C, 5CD, 5C, 2D. Zero zero. Let's change the other color to F F seven D zero zero. Okay, this time let's select. Let's give this first color an opacity of uh, hundred, a full opacity of hundred this color to another a full opacity of 100 yeah okay let's accept it now let's change the mode let's change the mode to overlay let's add another let's add a color balance to the mix a color balance where are you okay i think it's located yeah got it and now let's Add uh, the mid tones. Let's add. Uh, let's shift. It. Let's add a bit of a, a red to to the mix. So by shifting the, the slider to a bit of the right right side. Uh, let's give it an. Uh, I think eighty five is good. Let's accept it. Now we can group the entire layer and rename it as a background. So we are done with our background. Now let's introduce another photo. Let's transform the size of the photo. And let's fade it from below by adding a brush by layer marks to it and initiating the brush tool by pressing B. Let's reduce the size of the brush tool. Let's fade it from below. Oh, I think we're good to go. Let's add, let's add that the name of the pastor. The font I'm using in this aspect is the lemon milk. I'll add the link so that you can easily download it. Uh, let's change the 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 the, the font to regular. Now let's let's reduce the tracking. Uh, 
dimension of the pasta. Let's reduce the font size. Let's change all to lighten. General Overseer. Of Divine Ways Church. Now let's see if we can increase the tracking. Let's reduce it further. Let's take it 75. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's use the handles to uh, adjust it a bit. So let's add the caption of the event. Seminar. Let's add a, a stroke to the. Let's change the let's change the color of the font. To this bluish color zero zero five zero ff. Let's increase the fonts of the set of. The size of the fonts. Uh, let's add a stroke of white a bit. Uh, make sure that the position is set to outside instead of inside. Let's make it outside instead of inside. Now let's reduce the the size of the stroke. Six is okay. Let's add another font. Uh, let's change it to lemon. Lemon milk regular. Let's change the color to white. Let's transform the size of the of the Font. Now let's position the seminar on top of the let's group both font and rename it as caption. Now let's place the let's position the side the, the, the photo. Okay, now let's position the caption layer two. Now let's position the photo on top of the caption folder. Okay. Now we'll add a bit of a of a flare, a light flare. Photoshop has that functionality. We'll create we'll create our own flare instead of downloading it. So let's create a new layer, an empty layer. Let's let's add uh, let's create a new layer and add a black and uh, give it a color of black. By pressing Control back Alt backspace on your keyboard, Alt backspace on your keyboard. Now, let's go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. Now let's choose the one with the option of a movie movie prime. Now you see a bit of a plus over here. Let's try and position it. 
just move the you see it's a bit of a plus over here let's position it so that they intersect both lines intersect so we can now accept it let's set the brightness to 100 i think 100 is okay Oh, let's say 125 or 130 is okay cool we can now let's change the mode to screen and position it on top of the eye if it's if it's too brighter we can reduce the opacity a bit I think let's leave it like that. Then uh, so we can create a folder for the flare and name it as a flares. Now let's transform the size of the flare a bit. Let's transform the size of the flares. So now let's refer to our actual uh, the final artwork and see what we have here. Okay, so now we are left with this part. Sorry, we are left with this part of the this part of the design. So now let's recreate it. Let's create a, a rectangle. With no fill, a rectangle with no fill and a stroke of let's say white with a with the size of the stroke as three. Okay, now let's give it a rounded size of 50 pixels okay i think the stroke is a bit smaller let's increase it to let's say we said three let's increase the size to three and accept it okay so now we'll text we'll type the text i think you can duplicate this one by pressing ctrl j Uh, let's move it here inside okay uh, let's change it to live from the church live from church auditorium live from church auditorium or d auditorium at 18 hours GMT so now let's uh, in change the color of the font to white let's reduce the size of the fonts okay now let's select the text and the rectangle and align it such that Make sure that the select tool is active, is activated. Now let's select both the rectangle and the, and the text live from church auditorium folder. And let's align them vertically and horizontally. Okay. Now let's regroup everything. When I say everything, let's regroup the. Now let's select the rectangle and the live and add it to the caption folder. So, the, so that they are all one like this. Okay. Now we can let's see if we can reduce the. Uh, we can position the both the rectangle and the live text, live from chat text uh, layer. Let's push in a bit from the top like this. Okay, so that we have some spacing at the top. Okay. So now let, let's refer to the work again. Okay, so we 
at this time at this point in time let's see what we can do to finalize everything now let's uh, create another empty layer Now let's see what we can do. We can further add something like uh, of a light uh, of a light around here, an illumination around the ear of the pasta here. So now let's create a new file, an empty file, a new layer. Sorry, we are creating a new layer, and uh, let's hide everything here by on hide. Let's hide everything here. Now let's create that. Now change the foreground to a bit of a brown, a bit of a brown. We will be using this color. Now let's activate the brush tool. Increase the size of the brush a bit. Yeah, let's double click it. Now let's change the foreground color to white. This time around we'll reduce the size of the brush. Then right at the middle we'll click it once. So now we can reactivate all the other layers. Now let's change the blend mode to screen. Let's reduce the size. Let's transform by using the transform sites and moving right to the ear side. I think it's we we are good to go now. now we go to go now now let's see what we can let's add some final touches let's create another another empty layer this time around you take some color from the actual background yeah so we therefore we've changed the foreground to this color so now let's hide everything and now on the sides we let's activate our brush tool on the sides we we create some sort of uh, yeah we brush along the sides now let's activate everything again now let's change the blend board to Yeah, to linear dodge or color dodge. Let's let's maintain it at color dodge. Cool. So now let's select layer two and layer three, and regroup it. We'll group it and we we'll rename it as a adjustment. okay so finally we are done now let's select everything before we before we we, we we end everything let's select all the layers and press control shift hold press and hold control shift alt and e at the same time this time when you do that it's it flattens all the image but we still have all our layers and non distracted everything is set so even if we hide everything we have this over here so now let's let's convert the final layer which is layer 4 to a, a smart object let's go to filter and use camera raw so we will increase the contrast to 33 we go to this tab the data tab we increase the amount to 23 and the luminance to 30 so let's hide this see that this the layer 4 is a bit is highly polished yeah 
so at this time at this point in time we are done with creating our flyer uh thanks for sharing your time with us and uh subscribe for more exciting tutorials like this thanks for sharing your time with us ciao